I tried the blue tea and the gingerbread biscuits were way better than Dad's ones, that's for sure. I think it might have been the best dessert I've probably ever had. Just putting sand on all the surfaces. We are seriously hustling at the moment. We just need to get every element in that, in that shed, otherwise we're doomed. But this team, I trust them. We're going to get it done. Eloise has made this beautiful mascarpone mousse. Oh, that is so good with the raspberry. We have a few extra biscuits, so we're going to put that mousse onto those extra biscuits and top it with some fresh fruit. It's looking fairly good. And then stick a berry on top, which will kind of hold the mousse in. Do you want me to start getting on the flowers? Yep. It's such a big push to the finish and the adrenaline's pumping. We've got honeycomb getting up, we've got pineapple flowers going up. We're trying to get the curds and the biscuits and everything set up so we can fill this space and get it done in time. Guys, this is the pineapple jam. OK, thank you. You eat with your eyes and that's never been so important on a day like today. We're creating an edible art piece, so it needs to look amazing. Where do they go? Perfect. We're going to use them as fallen petals. Flowers, flowers. <laughs> Seven hours of hard work, and it comes down to this. Five minutes to go. I need more. Are these all cool now? Yeah, we're good. Five minutes to go, and the red team's running around like headless chickens trying to get this greenhouse full. Just be really careful now, guys. Oh, 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 Watch your head. Yep. Very nice, Floppy. Watch your head. Get me some more flowers, please. The public are about to walk through our doors and it feels like I'm in the middle of a workout. I'm going running back and forth in between our kitchen and the greenhouse. This is it, everybody. One minute. One minute. Can't think of honey time. Oh, my God. Yep, perfect. Yeah, you're right. Yep, perfect. Uh, you guys are doing an amazing job. Uh, Straighten up the boxes. You. Yep. Where do you want toothpicks? Um, toothpicks next to Jude's. Anywhere where Jude's are. really come together in the final moments of this challenge. There's hexagon biscuits on the wall, there's tubes and jellies everywhere, there's canisters of beautiful curd and jam. I couldn't be happier. Oh, my God! Time is up. I'm looking at that greenhouse and it just looks incredible. It looks peaceful, it looks clean, it looks elegant. This is exactly what I wanted. And I look over at the blue team. They've done such an incredible job today. While I feel confident, I am concerned that maybe they might have done just a little bit more than we did. All right, red team, blue team, back to your kitchens. Let's go, guys. We'll let the people in. Good luck. I can't believe that for any time now, the guests will be eating our edible art. The doors fly open and hundreds of people flood inside <laughs> to see the smiles on their faces. It makes us feel like it's all worthwhile. <laughs> it's really cool seeing people run through that door and line up ready to taste something that we've spent seven hours creating. Hi. <laughs> it's really nice to know that all that food, all that magnificence that we've put up on the walls is going to be enjoyed by the public and the judges today. Right. And we're going to go in and have a little taste. Wow. The judges are about to taste our desserts. I am so happy with our greenhouse. My team did such a great job. I just hope that the judges like it, that they see the effort gone into it. So lots of interesting things in here, yeah. isn't there? These are beautiful. I, I, I think this is such a good idea. They're gorgeous, aren't they? Yeah. I know they're blossoms, but they look like little butterflies. Yeah. What else we got? Little macaron. I'm going to do that in the, in the crumb. And those buns are absolutely brilliant. Yeah. It's very elegant, it's very sophisticated. And what I love is that there's a real sense of Japanese garden with a crumb yeah. and with its blossom. 
Shall we go and taste? Yeah. yeah. Come on, then. I've already had a bite of one of these. I can see you're all smashing it. It's great. Yeah, that sambal on top of that bitter is so good. That's yeah. absolutely yeah. delicious. How good are those macarons? Yeah, they're sensational. They're absolutely fantastic. They're shiny, they're beautifully piped, delicious green tea ganache. The refrigerator roll, top notch. I mean, that little cream. Yeah, I've, got, I've got a lemon curd in it. Really tangy. Yeah, so yeah, good. So that combination of lemon curd and matcha is fantastic, isn't it? It's yum. It's not overly sweet, any of these desserts. So there's a good real balance here. Visually beautiful yeah. and tasty. And that's what yeah. we asked for. Yeah. Right, let's go and taste Blue Team's effort. Oh, I like this. Yeah. It's very child. Like, it doesn't have yeah. to be sophisticated and adult, and I think if you put a bunch of kids in here, they'd go crazy. Oh, the smell. It is so fragrant in yeah. here. And they've done a lot. Loads of honeycomb. They've made all these honey and ginger biscuits. Yeah. They've made little jubes, little biscuits with what looks to be a strawberry or raspberry mousse. Yeah. And dips as well. Curds. Yeah, I don't do pineapple flour. Yeah. I've got uh, cool break crackles here, that's a very <laughs> refreshing. And over here looks like honey, but obviously yeah, not yeah. honey. It's a gel of some kind. Yeah. Brilliant, great. And, and I love these hexagon, the way they represent the, the, the comb. It's almost like we're inside the hive, and it yeah. certainly smells like it, doesn't it? Take a biscuit on George, you just go like that and give it a dunk. Let's do it. It's actually insane that we've made an edible art piece. I'm just so incredibly proud. But there's a lot of sweetness going on in this greenhouse. We've added a creamy element along the way. I just hope that we've put enough of that in there. There's a lot of stuff in there. There's a lot going on. Yeah. So hopefully it, it tastes just as good as it looks. Love the honeycomb, love the dipping sauces, love the dehydrated pineapple. And I like those little biscuits, I like the, the curd. I think they're all fantastic. That cornflake crackle, that's delicious. But you know what the terrible thing is? It's very, very sweet. It's certainly sugar heavy, isn't it? There's not a lot of relief, although it's delicious when you first dig in. There, there needs to be a lot more of that mascarpone yeah. cream, doesn't there? It cuts right through it. Yeah. All right, guys, you want to eat the insulations? Go in at that end, enjoy. <laughs> there is no doubt that both teams have done an amazing job. The real difference, in a way, standing here looking both ways, is the profusion of stuff that's in the blue team's greenhouse. Yeah, yeah. It's packed full of sweetie goodness. And the red team's look looks elegant, but it's a little bit sparse, perhaps, by comparison. I think the fact that they didn't get as many cherry blossoms as they'd hoped, they've done a great job getting 300, but, yeah. you know, imagine if they'd had 1,000 oh, up there. Yeah. I think we need to go and deliberate, work out which team's done the best yep. job, and let these people <laughs> gorge themselves on sugar. <laughs> so I've got the red team's food, and it's like a flavour explosion. It is delicious. I like the red team, and I love the little strawberry shavies that made the butterflies. They're fantastic. Really creative idea. Yummy. It's like a work of art, it's absolutely beautiful. Just to look at it was um, amazing and it tastes, it just takes me out to childhood. It's all of my favourite flavours as a kid, it's really, really nice. I tried the blue tea and the gingerbread biscuits were way better than Dad's ones, that's for sure. I think it might have been the best dessert I've probably ever had. It's been such an incredibly long day. And the team that puts up the least impressive installation will go into elimination. And at this point, you don't want it to be off the back of how much you've just poured into this art installation. Well, I think we're surprised you're still standing because that was an exceptionally long day and you certainly pulled out the stops. I think you'd agree, though, it was well worth it. Darren, how do you think they went? 
I'm really thrilled for both teams. Both team captains, Tamara and Sarah, really led from the front. I was impressed with how you both delegated jobs, but also followed through and made sure those jobs were done correctly. So both of you did exceptionally well. Thank you. Well done. Well done. Make no mistake, both teams did a brilliant job. But, unfortunately, the consequences remain the same. The losing team will go into elimination tomorrow, and from there, somebody is going home. Blue team, when we walked into your greenhouse, we were absolutely blown away. It was full to the brim. We asked for a multi-sensory experience, and you gave us that. We love the biscuits, the honeycomb, and the dried pineapple. And that cornflake crackle was delicious. Red team. You wanted to give us a Japanese Zen garden. Did you deliver? Yes, you did. It was sophisticated, it was elegant. But above all, it was delicious. The macarons were beautifully piped and the filling was so yum. Profiteroles were gorgeous. They could have sat in any great pastry shop. There's no doubt that you both put up sweet houses that would have drawn Hansel and Gretel back into the forest. But blue tea, with all that sweetness, we were craving some relief. Red team, your greenhouse may have been sparse, but you were able to balance the sweetness with sophisticated flavours. And that's why, red team, you are today's winner! Really... I am on such a high. <laughs>